The Romney presidential campaign has not picked Governor Benigno Fidel for its Asian American Pacific Islanders group. Channel 2 Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. Fidel was considered but rejected by the Romney campaign for a seat on the presidential candidates Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders for Romney group, according to a reliable source close to the National Republican Party. Romney's campaign did not respond to a direct query. Romney recently announced that former Labor Secretary Elaine Chow would be national chair of the Asian and Pacific Islander group. Chow is married to U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and became the first Asian American woman in the cabinet under President George W. Bush. Universal Health Care CEO Akshay Desai was named co-chair. Elected CNMI Republican Party president last November, Governor Fidiel was considered as a possible Islander representative to the Romney Group. Fidiel founded and headed the local GOP until forming his own Covenant Party and touted a strong relationship with the National Republican Committee and a good rapport with current RNC chair Reince Priebus. But mounting scandals in the Commonwealth, dating back to the days of disgraced lobbyist Jack Abramoff, have apparently kept Fidiel off the Romney group. The governor, now making his way to next week's GOP convention in Tampa, Florida, is further plagued by efforts to impeach him over burgeoning scandals surrounding the Saipan Development no-bid power plant contract and former NMI Attorney General Ed Buckingham. Buckingham, who fled Saipan August 4th in an unsuccessful bid to avoid being served a local summons on various charges, also signed the $190 million contract, now enjoined by Superior Court Judge David Wiseman. Wiseman earlier issued an arrest warrant for Buckingham, who failed to make a court appearance to answer the summons. None of this has helped Fidel in his strategy to curry new influence with the GOP establishment stateside. Faced with a very competitive presidential race and a chance to win Senate control, party leaders are taking no chances with scandal-tainted politicians. Romney and the entire GOP national apparatus launched a swift and relentless crusade Monday, as the Washington Post put it, to drive GOP Representative Todd Akin out of the Missouri U.S. Senate race after controversial comments on rape, pregnancy, and abortion threatened the party with widespread political harm. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for KSPN Channel 2 News.